Hey guys, it's Eric. This is Glenda. We are D and E Miniature and Board Games. So, so, while we were at the expo, Planet of the Apes came in from I D W. Mm -hmm. We'll ship here. You got shipped here. Yeah, ship here. Now, Planet of the Apes was released a few months ago. It didn't do as well, I think, I as I D W wanted it to. Um, if you pre-ordered it, there was a special set of miniatures in the box, but otherwise you just got cardboard standees. I got a email from one of the sites that sometimes I look at and think about buying, and on top of this being on sale, I had a 50% off coupon. And we love coupons. So I ended up getting Planet of the Apes for $11. It's a good deal. Or it's 12 with a coupon, it's still a good deal. <laughs> yeah, it's like 11, 12 bucks. Where they got me was the $9 shipping and handling, but you know. That's always, there's a shipping. There's going to be a catch when they, you got that good of a Correct. deal. So, we're going to go ahead and open it so you guys at home can see what's inside of this. Um, the reason I brought up the miniatures part, though, was that when I looked at this, I think it was Saturday night when we were home from the expo for trying to stay awake. Uh... I noticed on here that this actually has the miniatures in it, or at least it says it does. Or, and we'll find out. So, we may have the miniatures, we may not. We're going to unbox it together and we'll see if it's in it, in the box. So it's Planet of the Apes. Yes, yeah, based on the original Planet original. of the Apes. Not any of those remakes. And it's a four, one to four player game. Fourteen and up. Does it look good mm. browsing on that rule book? Looks like a rule book, folks. All right, so. It's a real plan of these. Let's see what we got. So we got a token pack here. They are double-sided. Uh, there's your standees right there. You got the sunk Statue of Liberty. You got the ship. You got Taylor, and you got the uh, the ape, uh, the gorilla on horseback, which were the soldiers. Yep. Hey, they, they stick with the theme too in the collar. So the board. Huh. So there's the board, folks. You can flip it too. Well, it's dumping on the back. Yeah. <laughs> We're just pushing stuff off the end there. So it's got a place set, um, looks like uh, decks for cards. It's got available place to put cards. And then the active encounters here. Um, I know this goes in acts, uh, and oh, tokens okay. go back. The standees or tokens go back and forth here to signify if you're winning or losing the game. Mm. So, IDW, I tell you what, no, they yeah. give you bags, bags like there's no tomorrow. Which uh, is a good thing. Right? The stands for the standees, mm -hmm. which are on the punch out. Plenty of dice. dice. Plenty of dice. Just you can never have enough dice. You can never have enough dice. Look at that. Plenty of dice. Alright. So this is the one that comes with the uh, plastic figures. One's trying to escape the bag as we're talking about. And it's also bent. Oh well. Oh. So. Oh, this is the one trying to go. So you got the ship. Uh, Taylor, the gorilla with the, uh, the machine gun, and the Statue of Liberty. No! You blew it all to <laughs> hell! Is that Charlton Heston supposed to be? Yeah, it was supposed to be. Well, I can't do the Charlton Heston very well. <laughs> oh, sorry, Liberty. That's pretty good. Alright, so there's cards. And are they different? Action. So we have action cards, we have special cards, and we have the Planet of the Apes cards. Mm -hmm. 
So apparently in Planet of the Apes you can run out of time because of armed apes. You can be alone and afraid because of crazy apes. You can be uh, avoidably, avoidable fate because of caged. Chased by apes because man is a scourge. Running out of time because no pain, no gain. Or survival training. It's a harsh planet, Bright Eyes. Yes, Bright Eyes. Major setback in animal cruelty. Nowhere to run, because it's a new day. Nowhere to run, never give up. Adapting outnumbered, another day more quick. I'm not going to read all these folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is your action cards. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like different colored dice. Obviously, different colored dice do something in this game. Uh, you got Taylor, you got Gorilla. You got Taylor and Landon. I... Together. You got Dr. Zayas. Do we got Cornelius? Nova? We have Nova. We have Nova. Oh, Cornelius and Zero. Okay. It wouldn't have been a game Without without Cornelius and Zero. I mean, come on. How can you do Planet of the Apes without Cornelius and Zero? Okay. So, I, I've looked a little bit on this, and these are like the axe, I think, or mm -hmm. something. Um... So it's play like it's a movie. That's why you say it's like an act. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I I I, I did a very quick look at it to see what and was going on. And buy it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Buy it. Oh no, I I had always planned to buy it. <laughs> really had. But like I, I said, I just have, you, you don't know how to play. It's never, okay. Never Harry. was going to play it. Buy it at like forty or fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah, I would believe because here, check end of scene, game loss, advance the day of track, fast the active character token. So, yeah, I would think so. So, yeah, that. so you've got the hunt, you've got Forbidden Zone, uh, the dig site, Escape from Ape City, and it looks like quick player references. Those are nice. We like we quick player references. We always love it. Those are good. Uh, apparently, you have defeated. The Discovery, The Swim, yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit here, and it, it's, from what I had seen, it, it's like the Forbidden Zone, you flip it over, forget the past, uh, you gotta roll three white dice showing five or higher, if you, f if you make it, the ape goes forward one, then Taylor goes forward two, if you don't, the gorilla goes forward one, and the Statue of Liberty goes forward one. Yeah, that's kind of hard. This is, but this is how. <laughs> I know. This is how Fives. you win and lose. Mm -hmm. uh, I was actually watching a playthrough of this just for a few seconds, it didn't look and easy. they even said that it was like the the first round. You know, the first round just looks like everybody dies really mm -hmm. fast, but it's. They said it's pretty evened out, which well, you know, we'll find out when we Well, we'll it looks play like it. there is a solo one, which is the solitaire rules, and it's easier game and a harder game. So that's how it was categorized here. Solitaire by a single player using any number of characters. Okay. Yep, so we'll find out. Yeah, we'll figure things out. Mm. Play the game the way it's meant to be played. It's a 90 to 120 minute game. Or longer. <laughs> God, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a long playthrough, folks. <laughs> it could be longer. But because it's not one of our normal games, it it might be one that we do do because mm -hmm. you know. People go on, well, all they do is minster games, or right. all they do is this. We're trying to showcase all different kinds of games, and gear, mechanics, well, kind of like all the same. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and obviously, you know, at some point you saw 360s of Taylor, and the gorilla, and the spaceship, and the statue, statue of Liberty. Liberty. But as always, guys, uh, support your local gaming. We support Discover Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, guys. Game on. Damn dirty, stinking apes.